Good morning, everybody. Um, happy New Year to all of you. Uh, it's 2018. I may look a bit uh, disheveled, but it's it has nothing to do with uh, you know New Year's Eve. I've been sleeping a lot lately, and that's because of what is going on in here. So uh, nothing we can do about it. First of all, I would like to thank you all for uh, the kind support you have given me. Uh, it has made a great difference, and I'm very happy. And, uh, well, it is uh, giving my life a little bit, a little bit more color, which is uh, not a given at any day, because, you know... <laughs> I've been struggling for 17 years now. Um, but let's look forward and try to be happy and optimistic and uh, make the best out of this. So uh, um, what am I doing at this moment? So I've started writing a book. Um, it's coming on fairly well, as you can see here. So this moment I've written about uh, almost 7,000 words. Um, the past two books were somewhere between 70, between uh, 60 and 70,000 words. So it's coming along quite well. I'm going to let you in on a secret, but do me a favor. Do, don't steal it or anything. So, uh, I think I've got my uh, my title down and um, the subtitle I'm not sure about yet. So uh, as you can see, it's a first draft, which means that, you know, I've still got a long road ahead of me. Um, I will need to uh, finish the first draft first and then um, and then. Uh, let people read it, give suggestions, um, and then and then uh, alter the text, edit it, and uh, eventually uh, deliver a nice product. Or deliver a nice product. That's bullshit. Um, I hope it will be a thought-invoking book. That will change people's minds but you know that's reaching for the stars so <laughs> let's get it written first and um, secondly I am watching one of my friends videos which is called UN's environmental program excluding one of our best decarbonization tools question mark and it's by uh, Eric Meyer he's uh, he's the boss at Generation Atomic um this one is uh oh wait a second it doesn't fit that's better this one is for him <laughs> i've got it in arm's reach <laughs> they don't I, I, this is their old uh, logo i've stored it <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> well this video of his is very important <clears throat> because it's um because it's a uh, it's a it's a call to action, and I'm going to run some of it just to give you uh, the impression of what is going on here. Um, so yeah. hey everyone, it's Eric from Generation Atomic. You might remember seeing that a couple months ago, nuclear energy was excluded from participating in a high level business summit at the Climate Talks in Bonn, Germany. In the weeks leading up to this event, we sent around a petition and it garnered well over a thousand signatures. In the days leading up to the summit, two massive reports dropped from Environmental Progress and Energy for Humanity. Both showed conclusively that countries that had used a large amount of hydro and nuclear had been able to decarbonize significantly, and those that were phasing out their nuclear or focusing on renewables alone had flat emissions or even rising emissions. Dr. James Hansen, one of the world's most renowned climate scientists, had strong words for the UN's discrimination against nuclear. 
That's crazy. You know, its actual carbon footprint is lower than that of most renewables. It makes no scientific sense. The executive director of UNEP, Eric Solheim, has, has tweeted some things uh, negative about nuclear in the past. Do you have a message for Eric Solheim of UNEP? Yeah, Eric. Uh, you know, I've met you before, and uh, we're very much on the same page with regard to climate change. But boy, if we don't allow nuclear um, a fair seat at the table, I just don't see how we're going to solve this problem on the timetable that it has to be solved. Despite our repeated pleas, nuclear was not allowed inside the Sustainable Innovation Forum. It was not allowed a seat at the table. So what do we do? We brought our own table. We brought tables, chairs, croissants, and representatives from four NGOs and five countries to dialogue with attendees to the conference right outside of the Sustainable Innovation Forum. Now, a couple days later, I got a chance to talk to United Nations Environmental Program Director Eric Solheim. He was a friendly guy. We had a great conversation, but he made it clear that he was more concerned about the political implications of being seen as pro-nuclear than about bringing the bottom billion out of poverty and curbing the effects of climate change on future generations. And this, my friends, is why grassroots advocacy exists, to help drive politicians to make the right decisions and give them the political cover to do so if those decisions are controversial. Just look at French President Emmanuel Macron, who reversed France's plans to phase out 25% of their nuclear fleet, saying nuclear is not bad for carbon emissions. It's even the most carbon-free way to produce electricity with renewables. What did the Germans do when they shut all their nuclear in one go? They developed a lot of renewables, but they also massively reopened coal. They worsened their CO2 footprint, and it wasn't good for the planet. So I won't do that. Do you think Macron would have had the confidence to come out and say that without the tireless work of nuclear advocates over the last couple of years? I don't think so. And that's where you come in. We need to do the same thing to Eric Solheim and the United Nations Environmental Program. Make it impossible for them to ignore the value of nuclear energy in combating climate change. So please, read our open letter, put your name on it, and share it with your friends and family. And thank you. And not only that, because as you, as you can see, they have only 48 subscribers, which is a shame, not, not to them, but to those people who forgot to subscribe to their channel. So you have to go to the Generation Atomic channel and press subscribe, because what they're doing is incredibly important. And uh, I, gladly, I gladly give my bandwidth or whatever room I have on my channel to deliver their message because it's it's important. It's really, really important that we get cracking on this stuff. So finally, um, I'm going to share with you some of my goals that I've set for 2018. So the first goal is getting to 2,000 subscribers. And I'm going to show you where I am currently. So let's see. I've got a shortcut here. <laughs> so you can see I've got 564 subscribers. And if we go to... Um, so if we consider Social Blade, which is, which is a which is a statistics gathering site. They, they, they check whether, you know, <clears throat> they check whether you can uh, grow your channel, what is happening to your channel. By the way, you can, you can, you can see some, uh, some cookie drawn advertisements over here. I was looking for test tubes that are heat resistant or better that are uh, high, uh, that can, um, that can uh, go up to really really high heat you know uh, a thousand degrees plus i don't know if they exist so i was looking for them but they say well in a year from now you will be at 1000 and in three years from now you will be just over 1900 and three months on you will past the 2000 subscribers mark so i guess that i have set myself a pretty steep goal 
with which I need your help because otherwise I am never going to reach it. So um, if you see this video and, you know, uh, some people who would be interested in some of my videos, you know, just point them to my channel. Perhaps I can make my goal, but you know what? You're never going to get anywhere if you're not, um, if you don't have any ambition. So uh, the second goal I have is getting 50 patrons. So, well, this is cool. You can see my, my recent browser history. As you can see, it's uh, predominantly energy statistics stuff well this is this these are some screen capturing tools that i was testing out this is the paper of a friend of mine ben hurt which is called the burden of proof um but right now we are going to head over to patreon and we will see that i'm not very far off my goal as you can see i've got um 37 patrons already and i want to reach 50 so i hope to reach that by half this year and then see if i'm still making videos and people are still liking it but i think but i think they will um i hope they do <laughs> here you can see some of the guys that i'm sponsoring so here's gordon mcdowell he's the uh He's the chronicler of the Molten Salt and Thorium, react, uh, thorium uh, Energy Movement. This guy is making uh, videos about movies that I like. Um, this guy is, he basically doesn't need any introduction. I don't know if people like this or not, but I don't care. Uh, I give Thunderfoot $10, $10 a month. And then there's the Thorium Energy World, which I give $1 a month. Um, not because I think his videos aren't important, but simply because I need to, you know, I need to keep a balance. <laughs> because this might seem like a lot, but this goes down progressively. Um, well, to hell with it. I can, sh uh, can I show you this? I can't show you this because it won't show us any people. So what happens is uh, I'll go to patronage. So what you see here is that, um, for instance, this was the first video that I posted in December. So it got uh, it got it got two hundred and forty two dollars. Then I lost two subscribers, as you can see, because I, I lost two patrons down the road, which, you know, is unfortunate. But, you know, I endorse whatever people want to do, whatever they are comfortable with. So, uh, and you can see that it goes prog uh, that goes down progressively. And um, do note that this, this is my sole source of income, apart from my benefits, which I get from the government which is less than this combined. <laughs> so it's not making me rich. And I'm also investing in, uh, I'm also investing in new, uh, in new technology and um, in my channel, new software. So um, it's not like I'm, uh, I'm becoming a millionaire things of this, but I wanted to show you. So, uh, Getting up to 50 subscribers, I think, will help me reach uh, help me reach a minimum wage level, which is not very high, obviously. But, you know, I'm happy with all the support I can get. And uh, this is uh, this is my baby because I, I feel that I can reach much more people from the confines of my depression, which is a serious illness. People often underestimate. It's not as if you can choose that you're sick or anything, but with this, at least I can make a difference and uh, get the sense that it's worth something. So 
back to my channel um yeah I, i'm hoping that i can reach 2000 subscribers and uh in order to do so i need to create good content um i need to create videos that are worth sharing it's not just making videos that's not enough i it needs to be worth sharing so i try to do that and as you can see i've already made quite some videos um so i started eight months ago so it's another four months and then we're a year in and uh yeah i'm pretty pleased with the progress so far it's really nice it's really nice um so let's get back um oh yeah i want to publish my book obviously i'm writing this and i want to get it done as quickly as possible because i want to be helping my friends at cop 24 which is in poland this year i really 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 hope to meet eric again and ty and uh, perhaps even ben um holly and uh, help them make a difference and this book this book should be uh, should be tailored to what we are trying to achieve there i'm trying to bridge the gap you know it's different it's different as it is different from what i usually do we just you know I, usually i don't pull many punches um i just get a sledgehammer and whack whack down whatever i can find but i'm i don't know i i i want to reach out to people like uh, naomi raskis and uh and uh, perhaps bill mckibben and uh eric solheim you know um make them realize that at this moment make them realize that at this moment they are not doing the correct thing um especially not if they're being um if they're doing the things they do because they are afraid of losing face because that's not that's not okay that's that's having uh that's having a low moral code you know i don't like that at all so i jumped ahead to there so additionally this point here right and vlog this is a promise that i made to a friend canon brian a long time ago that i would write blog posts and vlogs for him for a special website that he made and um, yes that's what i want to do um because i can put out more content which should be shareable which should um reach a wider audience and help spread our message so for the vlogging part i need some uh, new equipment so i need uh i need a camera and in order to be future proof i'm going to get a 4k camera which doesn't need to be expensive i found ones of 400 500 euros so um I want to invest in that or i want to get one from you guys and canon has already proposed to do it so i need a microphone i need uh, two tripods um let's see uh, i need memory cards obviously uh yes that's what i need for the vlog also i'm looking for people who want to help me procure solar panels especially sun power ones i want the sun power e20 series and i want the sun power x22 series solar power those are expensive i already sourced a couple of cheap ones you know that cost 50 euros or something but i believe that the sun power panels are i don't know up from two three hundred euros or dollars so uh, if someone would be willing to buy one for me 
and get it shipped to me, that would be awesome because I could test the, obviously I could test the recording hardware that I would get on creating a video in which I um, try to take apart these panels as good as possible, weigh them because I want to, I want to have a range of panels so that I can uh, also do some calculations for the long run on bigger scale. Um, so I'm going to weigh them at the beginning in one piece. So I suspect that I need to remove a lot of um, perhaps insulation, kit, uh, adhesives. So in the end, the in, in the end, you will be left with something that is weighing less than you had initially. So I need to know the difference, and then I'm going to try and f and 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 get out the aluminium and the copper, and um, separate the silicon, uh, separate the, the the silicon units. Um, see how much cable is in there and such you know how much glass how much aluminium for the <clears throat> for the the frame so yeah i really look forward to doing that and i know also uh, i was thinking about melting some salt <clears throat> also i was thinking about melting some salt i've got some uh some non-collagenant uh, salt in my kitchen which i would like to melt in a test tube with a you know a bunsen burner type uh, thing and uh, yeah and finally um and these were the highlights of my year last year were the speaking arrangements i had at um at watford where I met two great friends, uh, Mark Torander and Neil Emery, who was the instigator of all this. And at St. Louis, at the 8th Thorium Energy Alliance Conference, organized by John Kutch and others. And uh, I really, 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 really want to travel to the U.S. one time this year. Uh, if only to meet all my fellow uh, activists and uh, you know tank um, gather some inspiration and uh, you know to up my feeling a bit and uh, perhaps to do something meaningful uh, give a presentation or help them do whatever I don't care I just want to travel to the U.S. one time, and uh, it doesn't need to be expensive because you know, f plane tickets from here to Boston or from here to New York, uh, they are about you know four, five hundred euros maximum. So it's doable. But I also want to speak in uh, in Europe, uh, perhaps in France or in Belgium or somewhere in Scandinavia or in Germany or in England. So I'm uh, looking to get. I'm looking to try to get four speaking arrangements this year. It's not only good, it's, you know, I don't think I reach that many people on a speaking arrangement. It's not as effective as a, as a YouTube video, for instance. But it's important for me to get face-to-face -face with people who are like-minded or people who are not like-minded, but who have a, but who have an open mind, you know, who aren't cognitively closed and are willing to listen to my arguments, which happened in Watford, for instance. So uh, in Watford, I was, uh, there were some people who were not that uh, enthusiastic about nuclear energy. So, um, you know, it's important to meet those people too and to try to reason with them. And uh, in the end, drink, you know, have a drink, eat something together, have a good time, and then go home 
and sit back in this chair again, which I spent, you know, about 70 or 80% of my time in, because I'm writing all the time. So, yes, yes, yes. I've got goals for 2018. Some of them are, uh, some of them are easy to achieve. Uh, some of them are, are a little bit harder to achieve. Uh, whatever happens, I will need your help for it. So, um, yes, let's return to, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's return to environmental progress. Uh, no, 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 let's return to, oh my God, I've got a bunch load of channels. Let's see, uh, where is he? Yeah, this is probably not the best thing to do. Ah, so don't forget, get over to Generation Atomic and subscribe. Perhaps even press the bell, which, you know, if you press the bell, you get notifications from when they, when they uh, create new videos and such. But these people, you don't need to go over there because they are my friends, because I genuinely, I, I genuinely feel, I genuinely think that they are friends of mine. Yes, I stutter as well. Um, when I don't feel good. <laughs> but these are friends. But more importantly, what they do is super important. Super important. They go out on the streets and they knock on people's doors and uh, they basically do what the Mormons do, uh, selling the Book of Mormon. But, you know, they are selling the Book of Science. And they are teaching people how nuclear power, what nuclear power is, how it works, and how it will make lives across the planet better. Because, because that's the message we are trying to get across. And that's that... Nuclear energy will not only make our future brighter, it will help us to transcend fossil fuels, it will help us transcend poverty, and it will, uh, and it will help us ensure a good and healthy planet for future generations. So, thank you all for watching. I'm very happy to make it through 2017 because, you know, my situation, that's not always a given. And, uh, well, have a nice day and uh, let's forge ahead. Bye-bye.